are lots of ways that you can make extra money. There are lots of videos out there going, I made £4,000 today from Amazon. It's like, great, but that's probably not going to work for me. So I want to give you some practical things that you can look out for that could help you make an extra £500 this month. Now, some of these things are going to depend on your personal circumstances. I'm not going to sit here and vouch for that 500 quid, but I reckon that pretty much anybody watching this could make an extra couple of hundred pounds if they put in the effort. So I've got a few strategies for you. Number one is to sell your old stuff. Now, if you are aware, I run a group called The Money Nook. This is a membership group where we are focused on building your financial education. It's all about empowering people around their finances so they can make smart money decisions. Now, the theme for this month is all about decluttering to make money. So we're talking about this a lot. Now, selling your old stuff is a really great way to give you a great cash injection. And you can easily make more than £500 a month, depending on how much stuff you have in your home. Now, I have been on this journey a few times. I went through the whole con Mari, you know, does it spark joy, huge decluttering process. I think I made definitely hundreds, even not close to like thousands of pounds. And this was just me going, do I want this? Yes, no. And then finding a way to have it exit from my house and hopefully make me money in the process. Now, where can you sell those things? Well, there are lots of places. You can take a look at eBay, Vinted, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, or there are a whole load of apps. I recommend you go through your house one room at a time and look for a few things today that you think could sell. You can sell anything, even broken stuff. Somebody will want it if the price is right. So make that your challenge today. And if you want some additional support, then do come and join us in the Money Nook. The link is in the description. So the next thing to look at is to check your tax code. Now, this might not seem like an obvious one, but it could be that you are overpaying tax or you're not getting the tax relief that you're entitled to. So you might find that there are some old taxable benefits that you were receiving from a previous job that you're no longer getting that could affect your tax code. Alternatively, maybe you could benefit from the uniform tax allowance. If your job requires you to wear a particular uniform, then this could mean that you could get a tax deduction because you have to incur some costs of washing and things like that. Another one is the marriage tax allowance. Now I've done a whole video on this, but if you or your partner is earning below the personal income tax threshold, so this is £12,570 per year, then you could be able to transfer some of your allowance to your partner or vice versa, therefore reducing your tax bill. Number three, look out for free cash offers. Now, there are lots of apps and services out there that offer you cash just for signing up. Now, you might have to jump through a few hoops, but it's essentially free money. Obviously, make sure you read the terms and conditions of these things before signing up so you know what you're letting yourself in for. So here's a few examples of some that are out there at the moment. So one of them is Monzo. You get £5 if you sign up using my link. I will drop that below and make a transaction within 30 days. Moneys is another one. You can get £10 when you sign up with my link and then you make a transaction and activate your card. Curve is a similar thing. You can get a free £5 for signing up using their card to make a £10 purchase. All of this is free money and there are constantly new things like this out there. So if these ones don't sound right for you or you're, you're nervous about them, make sure you head over to my Instagram account. I'm at looking after your pennies and follow me there. So I will share any new ones that come out to help you to make that little bit of extra cash this month. Now, the final one I want to mention is switching bank accounts. Again, I've done a video about this, but it's probably a little bit out of date now, but you can go check it out for all the details about how switching bank accounts works. Now, there are some great offers on this at the moment, and essentially it requires you to switch your bank account, and you can use the current account switching service to help you do this, which will transfer things like your direct debits, all of that sort of stuff so you don't have to worry, and it does it all automatically, but there could be some money in it for you. 
Now, some of these offers are in the region of like 100, 150, 170, 190 pounds. If you sign up and you follow the instructions, you will have to move one bank account over to the new bank account. But if you're the sort of person that's like me that's got like a couple of bank accounts on the go, you might find that there's one that you want to switch. Or you could just switch your main bank account and take advantage of some new features or maybe a better service by switching to a different provider on top of that cash bonus. Essentially, you can do this like as many times as you like. You just need to make sure that you meet the criteria. Another thing to watch out for is if you're signing up to new banks is they may perform some sort of credit check depending on what you are applying for. So if you're keeping an eye on your credit score, you may want to just do a little bit more research about what it is they will check and if this may have an impact. If you get on top of the decluttering, you have a look at your tax code and you have a look into some of these bank accounts switching offers, you can be a few hundred quid better off in a month's time. Don't forget to check out the Money Nook. We've got group coaching, we've got activities, daily tasks, all of this to help you make some money from your stuff. We've also got a whole back catalogue of workshops. We've been running for over a year now with guest experts, with live Q&As, group coaching, and there's two courses in there. One about budgeting and one about investing. So do go and check that out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the like if this video has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.